Hola, como estas? What's up, my man? Dude, it looks so nice and sunny there. Oh, lost I you. Know. I lost oh, you. There we go. You Got you back. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty sunny today. It's wow. Nice. There's still no people anywhere. Well, good. <laughs> that's, that's just the world right now, unfortunately. Um, I know, man. I know, I know. Like, even, doing all right? Yeah, doing all right. It's not very nice here in Charleston today. It's like mid to high 60s and overcast, so... Oh, look at look at this! Huh? For once, I'm better than you <laughs> when it comes to weather. <laughs> Considering you're like living in Spain, I assumed that it was just you know always better than what I've been living with. But especially, well, yeah, I mean, if you were in Boston, definitely. Mm. So, um, well, dude, well, thanks for doing this. Um, so we talked yeah, about this. We talked about this a little bit at first, but obviously, the point is to kind of a break up the monotony of life at the moment, and b kind of just kind of talk to you, see how everything's going and making sure like just what things are like in different parts of the world and how you're, how you're coping with it. So, um, okay. so first of all, I wanted to ask, um, so like what's the, what's the present effect of coronavirus kind of on, on kind of where you live? And obviously there's no, no real tennis in, in Spain, but there is Padel and I know you play a lot of that. Uh, so how's, yep. how's kind of this, how's the coronavirus affected everything? Well, I mean, um, the clubs have to shut down. They were uh, the last thing, or well, one of the last things to shut down. Um, but, you know, since we can, you know, we have to be by ourselves on the street. You can't be in groups of two even. Um, Not you know, even groups of two. Shut down. So you and Phoebe no, 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 you couldn't can... take Obi out at the same time? Well, they just, uh, they just passed this rule uh, last, um, I think it was last Wednesday, where you can take your kid out to the supermarket or to the panaderia, you know, the place to buy bread. Right. Um, but that's it. Only, and only if uh, there's nobody else at home. So if I take him out and the police stop me and they say, why is he out? And I tell them, well, there's nobody home. They can come and check and see if there's anybody home or not. And then I will get a fine. Wow. So, and they, 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 they have been doing that. Now when we go to the grocery store or even to buy bread, we need to have the receipt. Right. Because the cops or the military can stop you and uh, ask for your receipt to see what time you bought the bread, which area, to see if you're just, you know, walking around with a three-day-old bread. Right. Know? Wow. Because we, we, we can only come out, buy something, and go straight back home. That is incredible. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I, the thing is, I don't disagree with it because how else can you really make sure that this type of thing doesn't spread? Right. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's horrible. Uh, but I mean, how else? I mean, if you look at like what we have in the US here where right now, they're just basically saying like, hey, please stay inside. And then there's thousands of kids down at the spring break in Florida. And it's like so because th there's no like set rule. Right. It's like you're just relying on the on people being considerate and thinking of thinking about it. And so whereas, you know, there, you know, you guys are kind of taking in the next step, which is basically saying we're going to force it. Right. Yeah, I mean, we have to. We weren't taking it seriously the first, uh, you know, few days. Mm. Uh, and then the cases just, you know, they keep rising by 20, 25% every day. Wow. So, you know, even here on the island, uh, we've gone, yesterday we had 360 cases. Uh, today we have over 400. Wow. So, uh, and, you know, we've put some pretty strict, strict measures here. You know, we've closed airports, we've closed mm. ports. Uh, and like I said, people are taking it quite seriously. You know, I mean, I live right across the street from a very busy park, mm -hmm. and there's nobody there. There hasn't been anybody there in, in days, you know, and even on the street. Like I said, the, the military and the police are walking around all the time. Um, they're, they're, they have controls on the main roads as well, just in case people try to go to their country's house. Right. You're not allowed to do that either. You can't be more than two people inside of a car. Uh, and that would be you and a kid, you not know, you and another grown up. So yeah, I mean we're taking it seriously because you know we just want to finish this as soon as possible. And even with those measures, you know they just announced yesterday that we need to be in quarantine for another extra two weeks. So it's going to be four weeks in total. Wow. I mean, you know, I know we talked about this a little bit, but I, I think that's still not a lot. I think it could be more. You know, depending. Not maybe not necessarily there because if you guys can isolate and, and really 
and do it properly. But like here in the U.S., I think we're looking at you know months of of potential yeah. quarantine time and, and isolation time. So yeah, well, it all depends how seriously people take it. You know, if people take it mm. like they should, then you know it can be quite quickly. I mean, look in China. You know, it was two yeah. months, and they don't have any more cases. Yeah, and, and no more national cases. You know, the cases they're having now, it's from people coming from abroad. Right, that are bringing it in. That's true. That's true. Um, well, so um, how is it kind of, obviously we've been talking about kind of how it's been affecting the city and everything, but like, how's it been kind of affecting your, your day to day? Like, uh, are you still able to like work like what, or, or kind of, how has that, that changed? Cause now you kind of, I mean, I know Phoebe was kind of working remote, right? So she's still able to kind of do that or what's been going on? I mean, yeah, I mean, we're both, uh, you know, working remotely. Uh, okay. I, I can do a little bit of work remotely as well. But um, it's still tough, you know, because, I don't know, it's just because the whole world is just shut down hmm. pretty much. Or here in Spain, the whole Spanish world, and, right. you know, the way that it's been affecting me. So even if I try to work from home, a lot of places, you know, we're, we're not a country that is, uh, like, remote work uh ready you know what i mean okay um so not a lot of jobs you can do that and even if you're trying to do it from home you know maybe your office doesn't have a system that allows it so i know that a lot of my friends are just they can't do anything you know a lot of people are being unemployed uh and is the government i mean laid off sorry really laid off because i know that um the government of at least over here i was reading different things about how they're trying to kind of bring out uh, unemployment for everybody and obviously, like, like regardless of your of why or how you've ended up unemployed or anything, but just obviously it's not paying you a hundred percent. But the numbers I've heard have been around like the seventy percent mark uh, of, of like your salary, um, which for you know for some people's enough, but for others isn't. You know, it's still that's still not enough money to kind of get by. Yeah. And so you know things. Yeah, like- I mean it's it, it's difficult. I mean, uh, you know, for example, I'm self-employed, so you mm-hmm. know. How can they gauge what my salary is, you know? Right. Uh, how can... Uh, so it's harassed. You know, what they've done now, they, they're uh, allowed... We have to pay, you know, every month a certain amount, I think, like in the U.S. Hmm. So, um, you know, we don't have to pay those contributions anymore right. for a little bit. Uh, but, you know, we're not getting anything. You know, some, some companies, you know, the government is giving them help, but they still don't know how much they're going to need or what's going to happen, you know, and I have mm. friends who have their own companies or they're losing mm. hundreds of thousands of euros, of, you know, yeah. because they're just, you know, people are canceling their reservations, their mm. bookings, you know, for the whole summer because nobody knows when this is going to end. Um, so, it's yeah, a, it's such an interesting I think thing. The, 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 the impact on the economy is going to be bigger than mm. anything else. It's such an interesting take because I kind of used for the first time put it into my head, you know, very much we think of it from like the big cities and like the the bigger companies perspectives, you know, where it's like financial markets, those types of things. But, you know, you're very much in a a kind of uh, a different economy down there, similar to kind of how Charleston is here, where we're relying a lot on tourism and, you know, restaurants, there's, a, there's just the, the, the income streams that, you know, the way people are making money is very different uh, there than it would be in like a New York or or Washington. Sorry, yep. Hey. Um. Papa, I got some chocolate. <laughs> Sorry, that was Obi. That's that's one of the things about being home. Yeah. You know, the kids haven't been, kids haven't been in school for the past uh, three weeks. Man, so, two weeks. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, yeah, no, but it's right what you're saying. You know, I mean, everybody's thinking about like large economies, but. You know, here in Spain, you know, uh, or Mallorca, you know, like you said, we live off tourism, but we also are a very service-oriented economy. So, you know, there's a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I would say the big chunk of those people live on a day-to-day basis almost. Yeah. So for them to have their business shut down for two weeks, three weeks, a month, it's it's huge and it's very difficult, you know, and, and they're not going to be able to recover from that. So it's... Yeah. It's the little businesses that are going to be the most affected. And do you think that affects, like, obviously, like, the Padel? Because I think I look at Padel, obviously, it's a lot bigger than, than real tennis, but it's very similar business model club-wise, uh, where mm-hmm. you're reliant on people being able to play. It's a service industry, right? You need the clubs to be open. You need people to use the courts. Um, do you, so, I mean, I don't know if you've been able to, like, talk to anybody about 
you know, how the shutdowns are affecting them, you know, as far as, you know, do they have contingency plans or things in place that they think will help save the clubs, you know, as they go through months of shutdown? Or is it just hoping that... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, you know, one of my uh, buddies, you know, you know, is, uh, is the owner of a club. And, uh, you know, he was telling me that it's, it's going to be difficult times because although, you know, most of the teachers, you know, uh, uh, are, you know, again, self-employed, mm. so they make money from their lessons and all that, you know, um, mm. they still get a small salary. So he has to pay that salary. And, you know, uh, we're talking about an adult club like the one that I'm, that I play in, you know, that has 15 courts. Right. He has about 12 to 14 teachers. So, you know, that's, that's a big yeah. payroll. And uh, he, um, he has to still do that and, you know, having a shot. So it's, it's difficult. It's going to be difficult for everyone. Right. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, yeah. Well, so Sorry. Have, here's, no. here's, um, With a little here's man. another uh, hey, victim of the coronavirus. <laughs> How you doing, uh, buddy? I think uh, he's probably uh, loving it because he's just home with you guys all day. Yeah, yeah. No, it's. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a good thing, you know. It's been good. Uh, one one of the positives is just having a little bit more family time and, and spending more time with, especially with him, you know. Mm. So. Well, I was just going to ask that uh, because uh, that was kind of my next question was kind of if anything kind of positive or interesting had had come up through through kind of this result of having to stay home and, and do all of that. And I know that obviously, like you got you went over there. Uh, I what is it? Almost a year ago now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the family, with the idea of kind of being able to spend more time closer to your family and show the culture and everything to OB and, and Phoebe and everybody. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I can, I would imagine that the time is stressful as it is. And, and obviously taking care of a kid at home 24 hours a day is tough, but I'm sure it's quite nice to have that time with him too. Yeah. It, it, it's nice to have the, the, the time to, to be here with, with OB, like I said, and with Phoebe and then, <laughs> You know, you have to get creative. You know, today I went to buy bread, and I took a, a long detour and uh, walked out, walked by my parents' house, and they came out to the balcony and, you know, waved and we chatted a little bit. You know, and then walked back. So, you know, you have to, you do have to get a little bit creative that way. And dude, and, everybody's uh, getting so creative. I love it. It's so fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know, good. doing video conferencing with my cousins, and mm. you know, I just. Just trying to um, to keep saying as much as possible. His Spanish is getting good, man. His Spanish is getting good. Yeah, I know. He, um, yeah, he, he, he's he's getting really good, actually. So. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, well, one more question, and then I'll let you go, man. I know you got a lot going on with him. Uh, but just uh, obviously, uh, you know, you haven't been able to play play any court tennis in a long time, being over there. Uh, but playing a lot of paddle, uh, I'd be interested to hear. Kind of, uh, are you doing anything at home to uh, continue to work on your game, uh, or um, if if you aren't, do you have any ideas for things that people could do at home? I mean. I don't. I don't need to do anything because my game is so good. We all know that. Exactly. Like, just like best Spanish, like in court tennis. best Spanish yes. real tennis player in the world. So uh, just you know, that's it. I'm the only one. So yeah, <laughs> I just hope he never comes to Spain that way, so I can stay the number one Spanish player. But uh, no, I mean it's, that, that's another positive. Like uh, you know, I always wanted to do more exercise at home and like do stretching and this and that, and I never really did. Right. But now you're kind of forced to it, so you don't lose your mind. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, creating that routine and that, uh, you know, every day stretching in the morning, working out a little bit in the afternoon, you know, uh, it's it's been good. And, and it's also good to see that you can do it. And, you know, we do it, you know, Phoebe and I do it together uh, sometimes. Then Obi starting to do some yoga as well in the mornings with me. So um, it's, um, that, that's been a positive, you know? That is. That is uh, I, think, I think you need it. Otherwise, you, you lose your mind. Oh, yeah. You've got to build it. And it's just a routine, isn't it? It's just getting into the habit. You know, once you've done it a few times, you you get used to it. And it it's just breaking through that barrier the first couple times and figuring out how you can work out at home, you know, because it's tough. It's it's such a different yeah. environment. But um, and I think this is going to be a positive thing for everyone, you know, because 
we are forced to live in our homes, get creative, and see how we can pass time. So, you know, there's you know, a lot more people, you know, I mean, some WhatsApp groups with, you know, parents from school and then battle players and soccer players and this and that. And, you know, everybody's saying, oh, I cooked this meal today or I did this or I did that, you know. So I think people are also discovering other things and, yeah. and, and and that's going to be a positive for everyone. I like that, man. I like how how you how positively you're thinking about it. I think we we really have to in this time because it's so easy to let the negative snowball in a situation like yeah. this. So I'm glad, I, I agree with you 100 percent about just trying to make the best of it. Well, so. keep it down, kids. Um, well, dude, I'm going to let you go, but I really appreciate it, man. It's been great to catch up. Um, you guys stay yeah, safe man. over there, and uh, we'll be in touch soon, buddy. Sounds good, man. All right. Salud. <laughs> Bye, Obi. Take care. <laughs> Obi, adios. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, See you, buddy. Bye.